Thanks for taking a look at the GFL planters. Now, the reason we bought this product out is because we've been teaching people how to grow their own vegetables to eat at home and using raised garden beds, but it was a big project to build those. Now, this is an instant way you can just fill it up with potting mix and you can start growing straight away. Here we've got some silver beet that's growing. Now, normally silver beet's taller than this, uh, but the reason it's short is because we've been eating it. And uh, because we're growing organically, we don't have any pesticides, we know this is safe to eat. Now, what about drainage with these? How does the water get out? Because there's no holes in the bags. The actual fabric allows the soil to breathe and that allows the water to actually pass through and it comes out nice and clean. It also means that you don't get root bound plants because the roots will sense the air at the edge and stop growing in that direction. So it's very easy. You can just give it a water and this large soil mass that we have in the bag will soak up that water and feed those vegetables very happily. Yes, you can use the GFL planters over and over again. These are designed to last for many years. Now, you can also reuse the soil. We definitely don't want to throw that out, but we are going to freshen it up. So we've got the remainders of a broccoli crop here. Now I am cheating a little bit because I already pulled them out earlier this morning. So you'll see they come out very easily, but we've got uh, leftover roots that are in the soil. So we should dig this over with the power planter. And for the sake of time, I won't do it all, but spend another 30 seconds doing that. So we're bringing the soil that's at the base of the bag up towards the top. And then we'll just get some of that potting mix and we'll top the rest of the bag up, add a bit of slow release fertilizer, and then we're ready to plant again. Now, what else can you grow in these GFL planters? Well, fruit trees do very well. I've actually got a full-size mandarin here, so it's not a dwarf and it's growing very happily in here. But I would suggest if you've got a compact space, get some of the dwarf varieties. We've got some uh, lettuce and some leek I'm gonna be planting. I won't plant them both together. I'll put them in separate bags. Of course, I've got some flowers growing in some. And in this last one here, we've got some silver beet that uh, is looking nice and healthy. Now we're putting some lettuce into this GFL planter. We can fit about five or six in here quite comfortably. Now the soil to use, you should use a potting mix. Now you can buy this in bags from your hardwares and nurseries, but it's quite expensive to do it this way. The best way is to get a load of potting mix delivered from your local soil yard in bulk. So much cheaper, you're gonna need 100 litres per bag. So for example, a one cubic metre delivery will be enough for 10 of these GFL planters. Now we're just gonna give it some plant food, which is a slow release fertilizer to keep them happy. And then we need to protect them. And the easiest way to do that is with a pest-free mini. And that'll stop all the bugs and slugs and birds and possums getting to it. Now, the other great thing about these GFL planters is the fact that they're portable. It's a two person lift, but you can move it around to chase the sun at different times of the year. This is particularly important sometimes for flowering plants, but also for vegetables, particularly your fruiting vegetables and your root vegetables need a few good hours of sunlight to produce really well. So just move the GFL planter to wherever the sun is.